All I am saying, Principal Sama, is that we need something new. The school Kabuki play should be more updated. Ooh, uh, I see what you're saying, Vlad, but uh, all the characters dressed as bowls of borscht. It, it, well, it all seems a little strange. Not all the characters are bowls of borscht. One is a jar of borscht, and another is a can of cream borscht. It will be great. Yes, well, maybe next year, Vlad. This year, I think we had better let Kubo run the Kabuki play. Yes, I am the Kabuki master. Remember, this year's Kabuki play must be special. I've invited the mayor of the town. This could put Shuriken School on the map. We might even get funding from the city. So, Kubo-san, go out there and break an arm. I mean, a neck. Or a leg, or whatever it is you are supposed to break. Hmm? So, you will do the kabuki play this year, and the glories of Bosch will continue to go unsung. Well, all I can say is that you had better do a good job. For I've led Idovich, Petrovich, Vikovich, Vishkaban, Mishaven, Mishka, Kukovac, Petrovich, Vishkovich, Cake Tower will be watching. Pig, please begin. As you all know, kabuki plays are a beautiful tradition of theater. Stories come to life on the stage with exciting visuals and amazing costumes. I have been proud to be responsible for such great kabuki staged at Shuriken School over the past few years. What's gotten into Kubo? Yeah, he's like Mr. Excited today. Next set of slides, please, Pig. Ooh, those are the wrong slides. Pig, please turn that off and bring up the bowl. This year, in order to shake things up a little, all of this year's performers will be chosen at random. That means it could be anybody. It, it could be me. Wait, uh, Kubo-sensei, don't draw that name. Yeah, what Tetsuo said. I have been the lead in the past several Kabuki productions, and I think it is a terrible idea to let one of these first-year Nimrods ruin everything. They don't deserve it. It is the fairest way to pick the lead. That part was mine, and you know it. You can't give that lead part to anybody but Tetsuo. He's the only one that can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tetsuo, but my mind has been made up. Well, you'll all regret it, all of you! This year's Kabuki is going down in flames, and you only have yourselves to blame. Yeah, yourselves to blame. <laughs> Kabuki does seem to inspire passion. Oh well, I'm sure he'll get over it. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for... The lead in the play will be... Please don't pick me! Aizan! Aizan, we've been looking all over for you. Yeah, dog. You forgot your script for the kabuki play back in Kubo's class. I left it on purpose. I don't want to do the play. Don't want to do it? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I'm clumsy. I'm way too clumsy to be on stage. I'll... I'll ruin the play and let the school down. You know how clumsy I get sometimes. <laughs> Do I ever? Doc, remember the time you fell down the stairs? Oh, or that time you fell up the stairs? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> or the time you got caught in a revolving door? Oh man. <laughs> oh, or that time you, you tried to help with the birthday cake for Vlad? <laughs> man, Vlad was cleaning cake out of his beard and mustache for months. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, remember that time you... Jimmy! Oh. Okay, Jimmy, you are not helping. Eyes on listen. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Every ninja should be honored to play this part. Weren't you even listening to what this play is about? After Kubo said my name, all I heard was this loud buzzing in my ears. Then, I imagined myself tripping and falling off the stage. Yeah, like the time you tripped and fell into the river off that bridge and... Jimmy! Oh, right, sorry. Eyes on, listen. This kabuki play is called The Kiss of the Dragon Woman. It's about the founder of our school, Koji Morisaki. Long ago, Shuriken School's founder, Koji Morisaki, valiantly saved a small child from the evil dragon woman. She was going to eat the child for dinner. <laughs> But 
She summoned a terrible giant that tried to stomp Murasaki-san into the ground. <laughs> Murasaki-san waited and then struck. The vile dragon woman was furious, and then she unleashed her secret weapon, the dreaded and deadly kiss of the dragon woman. But Koji Morisaki's skills were too great for her. And he soon had the upper hand. The child was saved, and the dragon woman never terrorized helpless children ever again. That's the story? That's great! Koji Murasaki and the kiss of the dragon woman. But but what if I mess up? You won't. Besides, we'll be right there with you on stage. I got stuck playing the music and narrating with a kuni. I will be Koji Murasaki in the kabuki play. Yes, that's right. I'm holding for the mayor. Oh, yes. Well, I'm hoping that he will be our honored guest for our annual kabuki play. Oh, it... What? Did we contribute to the mayor's election campaign? I... Um, not financially, but... Remember, there's a lot riding on this production. The principals assured me that very important town dignitaries and officials will be here opening night. It's scary giant! I will stomp on you! Uh, well, is there anyone that wants to come? Uh, the assistant mayor, perhaps? The, the assistant mayor's assistant? <laughs> anyone? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, oh. This is awful. I don't know why I have to be the dragon woman. I have to wear this stupid mask and... I think actors are very interesting. Really? How interesting? Very. I am an actor. I've got a lead part. A character is in the title of the play. I know. Do you think you can help me rehearse? Sure. Which scene? Uh, the kiss part? You don't just want to rehearse the kiss part so that you can kiss me, do you? Oh, no, never. No, of course not. Uh, well, this part is very important, and, and I just, I really need to rehearse. Uh, uh, do it for the play. Okay, I'll help you, but only if you're in costume. Be right back. In costume. Okay, let's practice your entrance. You rush in and strike a heroic stance. Oh, God! Okay, let's try that again. Go! Oh, ah! Um, Aizan, I don't understand. You're a ninja. You do well in class. Now you can't walk? I'm sorry, Kubo-sensei. It's just that I get nervous and it makes me... Well... It, it brings out the clumsy in him, Teach. I see. Well, the best remedy is to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Try it again. No! Okay. Let's move on to makeup. We'll try the entrance again later. I will not give up. I will not give up. Sensei, are you sure this is the right makeup? Yes, I put it on your dressing table. Now hurry up. Ah, oh, good pig. How are the advanced ticket sales going? None? No ticket sales yet? I see. That bad, huh? Well, that's all right. No need to panic. Ready to help me rehearse, Amy? We'll do the part right before the kiss and then just take it from there. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Eyes on, take that blue paint off your face. Are you trying to single-handedly destroy this production? <sighs> okay, I'm ready. We're just past the part leading up to the kiss, so we should rehearse the next part. The kiss. You forgot your mask. Was 
strange. All right, eyes on, back on stage. Still plenty of rehearsing to do. Um, Nobunaga, let's rehearse the giant fight scene. Ah! I am the big scary giant! I will stomp on you! Now attack, Izon, just like it says in the script. Izon, it's okay. Just pretend we're in class. You're never really clumsy in class. Oh, it's going to work. We're going to make it. <laughs> yes, I'm still holding. Yes, I'm... Well, I'm still hoping that a city official will grace our annual kabuki play. You have someone that can come? Oh, an important city official? Oh, that would be glad to honor our school excellent. He, um, doesn't expect a free ticket, does he? Oh, good. Well, we'll see him at the performance. Oh, thank you, thank you. Places, everyone, for rehearsal. Uh, bring in that child who's going to be eaten. Whew. Giant? Ready, Kubu Sensei! Dragon Woman? Daisuke, where are you? You're on. All right, Aizan, here goes. The Dragon Woman is after the child. The child is up in a tree, and you leap in, making a dramatic entrance. Ready? And action! Watch out! Uh, uh, this is a disgrace! Where is my stage crew? It wasn't us, Kubo Sensei. It was that guy in the black cape. The evil laughing guy. He's some sort of a spy. There's no evil force attacking this play. Other than you children not doing your best, I will not stand for it. We are going to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse until we get it right. Rehearse being the optimal word. We're all doomed. Doomed! <laughs> Message for you, Kubo Sensei. Mistakes have been made and debts will be paid. Prepare, prepare for things to get spooky because you've angered the Phantom of the Kabuki. Oh, that's it. I cannot work under these conditions. Bringing about perfect Kabuki is hard enough without some crazy phantom sabotaging the show. I quit. The Kabuki is canceled. <gasps> Kubo Sensei, you can't just cancel the Kabuki play. Everyone's worked so hard. We can't just quit, especially now. Is that what our founder Mirasaki would do? I don't think so. I mean, what if he just gave up way back then? What if he just turned tail and run? What if he decided he couldn't go through with helping that poor, innocent child? This poor child! He would have been eaten by the dreaded dragon woman. Sure he's... Shh, don't stop him. He's on a roll. You know, two good friends of mine helped me understand how important it is not to live in fear. How important it is to overcome the obstacles in our way and not to be afraid of them. Defeating fear is more than half the battle. I refuse to quit. I will not give up because of some phantom. I refuse to surrender. I will not live in fear. <laughs> The show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> okay, Three, we need your help. Like any self-respecting ninja, we all know that this phantom is probably just some disgruntled guy in a mask. We need to figure out who it is. All right, everybody, huddle up. Now, we all heard Tetsuo threatening the show. Marcos, you get on him and stay on him. And I heard a rumor that Vlad was upset about this year's Kabuki. He could be a suspect. Jacques, Follow his every move. Nobunaga, report back to Okuni as soon as you guys know anything. I have to go rehearse my entrance. And break! All right, 
Five minutes to curtain. <laughs> See, Kubo-san, we've got an important city official after all. Really? There sits the South Train Station Master of Platform 23. Oh, good luck, Kubo. Ah, places, everyone. It's time. Well, Tetsuo or Vlad probably aren't the mysterious phantom. It's big! Don't be silly. No, look! <laughs> Pig! Pig is a great actor! He wanted the part! Oh, this is terrible! Oh, man! The curtain's going up! What do we do? Improvise. The show must go on! <laughs> this is the story of Koji Morisaki and the kiss of the dragon woman. Once, long ago, there was a child, a helpless child, that was going to be eaten by the dragon woman, but quickly climbed a tree trying to escape. But was not in the tree, for some reason. Oh. I know, I put Chokey in that tree. Ah. It's the Phantom! And Morisaki made his dramatic entrance. And see, Murasaki, the dragon woman became very angry. I don't! Even angrier! <laughs> and she summoned a giant to stomp on Murasaki. And she summoned a giant! A giant! A really big giant! Oh, this is terrible! Terrible! Okay, so maybe the dragon woman didn't feel like summoning a giant, so sh she didn't. So instead, she attacked huh. with her dreaded kiss. <laughs> and, and in a crazy sneak play, the kid actually turned out to be the dragon woman's son. Dragon woman's son? But more sucky was too fast. Oh. And the dragon woman kissed a big trash can full of stinky garbage that was meant for Morisaki. Garbage? There's no garbage. Kissing garbage. Do not be alarmed. No actual garbage was injured in the production of this play. What? What? <laughs> Try as he might, our beloved Morisaki could only hold the dragon woman's son at bay. There's no Dragon Woman's son! And and that's when Morisaki decided to pack it in and leave town. <laughs> or not! <laughs> and that's when our great founder reached deep down inside himself and knew what to do. I do? I, I mean, I did? Yes, you did. Morisaki appealed to the Dragon Woman's son's higher nature. Surely a ninja of such great skill should understand honor and friendship. I, Koji Murasaki, had come here to save you. The glory of this moment is as much yours as it is mine. Let us be friends instead of enemies. I, Murasaki, put my hand out to you, not in attack, but in an offer of peace. I bow before you. No way! Aizan, I mean, Murasaki is, was totally unprotected. <gasps> They were great friends ever after. And kicked it around town at every house party they could find. House party? Kicked it. The end. <laughs> oh, I kissed garbage. Acting stinks. Well done, Kubo. A great success. The story needed a little spicing up. Very avant-garde, at least. That's what the South Train Station Master of Platform 23 just said to me. He said, very avant-garde. Oh, well done, Kubo. Well done! <laughs> <laughs>
Poor Kubo-san. I guess some people just can't handle success. Acting is the greatest thing ever. I wonder what people would think if they knew the real story about Murasaki and the kiss of the dragon woman. Come on in now. It's time for dinner. Come down out of that tree. You're going to get hurt. Be careful. Oh, be careful. Oh, no! Oh, you're all right. Thank you, kind sir, for saving this boy's life. Hmm, maybe it's better that they just don't know.